Hello. In the previous session, we have learned the uh, chair conformation cycle action. In this lesson, uh, we will learn, uh, we will compare the two conformation, two stable conformations of cycle action. One is the chair form and the other is the board form. The chair form is already written here. The board form is the board form is like this. So there are two types of hydrogen here. There are two types of hydrogen here. Hydrogen here. Hydrogen here. Hydrogen here. And the hydrogen here. Look at here, these are two conformations of cyclohexane. This one is chair form. This one is chair form. And the other is boat form. This one looks like a chair, the easy chair. And this one looks like a boat, so it is boat form. Look at here, what is the difference between these two conformations? Look at here, this is actually the chair form of cyclohexane. There are uh, three beta axial bonds, there are three beta equatorial bonds, there are three alpha axial bonds, and there are three alpha equatorial bonds. Okay, look at here, now what is both form? Look at here, if we just rotate these two bonds, these two bonds, that is the carbon which is um, present below the plane, if we move this carbon up, just nothing else. If we move this carbon just, at, uh, just up, look at here, this is your boat conformation. This is nothing, this is your boat conformation. If we, if we look from this angle, this is just like this. These two hydrogens, these two hydrogens are known as flagpole hydrogen. Flagpole hydrogen, this one and also this one. Okay. <coughs> and these two hydrogens, these two are known as bow speed hydrogen. Bow speed hydrogen. This one and also this one. And the hydrogen present here, 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 and here. These four, one, two, three, four. These are known as boat axial, boat axial, boat axial, boat axial hydrogen. And the hydrogen atoms, one, two, three, and four. That is the hydrogen, one, two, three, and four. This is equatorial, 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 and then equatorial. Both equatorial hydrogen atoms. So it is generally uh, we know that the chair conformation is much stable than the boat conformation. Now what is the reason be uh, behind it? Uh, the chair conformation, if we look at the chair conformation, the chair is nothing but this one. If we move this one down, this one is nothing but chair conformation. Now if we, if we uh, want to draw the chair conformation, in a Newman projection, in a Newman projection, we see that this one is carbon, this one is carbon, hydrogen, hydrogen this one and this one hydrogen 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 and hydrogen look at here <coughs> take a close look of this molecule from this angle just from this angle you just see this conformation this carbon is behind the plane this carbon is in front of the plane this carbon is front, this carbon at the uh, behind uh, and now this carbon is here and this carbon is here. 
so there are two hydrogen atom atoms are there hydrogen hydrogen and again this is hydrogen and this is hydrogen so this newman conformation actually represents this chair conformation <coughs> now what about this one if we now what is boat this one is boat conformation this one is boat conformation okay take a close look from this angle take a close look from this angle if you draw this newman conformation newman projection formula look at here no this one is like this and this one again this one again like this this is your hydrogen this is your hydrogen this and this this is hydrogen this is hydrogen hydrogen and definitely two hydrogens are there to avoid the clumsiness i don't draw these two hydrogens actually these two hydrogens are present here like this these are hydrogen 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 and hydrogen now uh, from these two conformation we can say that the boat form is very unstable why <coughs> because there is eclipse conformation the chair form is represented by this staggered conformation this is definitely staggered this is staggered newman projection and this is eclipsed newman projection eclipsed newman projection formula so in the newman projection formula there are one two three and four four eclipsed interaction there is four eclipsed um, uh, interaction are there and <coughs> but this form is um, is uh, free from that eclipsed um, eclipsed and uh, this um, uh, eclipsed interaction there are four eclipsed interaction are there eclipsed interaction are there eclipsed interactions are there so these four eclipsed in, um, interactions are absent here and of course these two hydrogen these two hydrogen are present in very close proximity the distance between these two hydrogen is only uh, 183 picometer and the van der waals distance between two hydrogen atoms we know the van der waals um, uh, radius of hydrogen atom is 120 picometer so if we add the van der waals radius of these two hydrogen it will yield 240 picometer now this distance is much smaller than that so there is a strong interaction between these two flagpole hydrogen this is known as flagpole interaction and due to the presence of these two flagpole interaction and these four eclipsed interaction what is eclipsed in form, um, interaction eclipsed interaction is that this hydrogen and this hydrogen are present in eclipse form this one and this one is eclipse form this one is this one is eclipsed and this one is this one is eclipsed so when the hydrogen atoms are present in eclipse conformation and the steric interaction is greater so due to the presence of four eclipse uh, interactions and uh, uh, the flagpole interaction uh, the chair form is stable uh, than boat form if we if we um, draw a energy profile diagram In the previous video, I have shown that um, what is flipping and during the flipping, 
of one chair conformation to another there is a boat conformation if we draw a energy profile diagram like this this is your potential energy this axis represents potential energy and this one is the progress of the transformation or the uh, reaction coordinate or maybe transformation coordinate maybe conformational conformational uh, conversion conversion coordinate okay now the energy energy level of the shear form is here and the energy level of another shear form is here this two shear form this is a shear form and this is again a shear form what is the difference between these two this to actually flipped structures in the previous video we have learned what is flipping and what is flipping of the ring and now if we go from this one to this one there are two transition state like intermediates there are two intermediate conformation these two conformations these are known as half chair conformation this one is look like this this is half chair and this again this one is a half chair no this one again this is a half chair this is a half chair and this is the energy level of the boat conformation this is the energy level of boat conformation so the energy difference i can write this one is slight higher energy state this one is your boat conformation the energy difference between this two that is a chair form and boat form is around 26.7 kJ per mole and the energy difference between this two is around 47 or 49 kJ per mole so the boat conformation is unstable then the chair conformation by an energy of 26.7 kJ per mole or again in some books it is written as 24.7 okay in this um, in this range actually 24 to 28 kJ per mole so chair conformation are actually the most stable form of uh, cyclohexane this is actually the uh, achiral pathway of the conversion of uh, one chair form to another So this is all about of this video thanks a lot for watching